Okay, the first thing I'm doing is I'm getting the drawing down. This is on gesso board, just a regular piece of board with some gesso on it. And look, I do a simple line drawing just to find out where the proportions are going to be, which is usually the most, if not the most, always the most important thing, I think, for pictures, portraits, especially proportions. Okay, now when the drawing is done, that's the most important part. Now I don't want the drawing to disappear whenever I'm going to be painting it. So I just dip a brush in ink, India ink. And I just go over my drawing with India ink. And once this dries, it's pretty much going to stay there. And as long as you don't paint too opaquely over it, the drawing um, will always be there for you to see. People like to use sprays and all these weird things to make the drawing not disappear. But if you find that ink in a brush works just as good as any method. Okay, then I toned it with brown. You see how I just did a thin wash? That's just to get rid of the white on the canvas and then i started off by just putting a background tone and i put the background tone just to be able to be easier to judge the tones on the rest of the picture okay put that light on the neck just to get an idea of where the lightest light was going to be and then i started going with the darks just hitting the big shapes and notice how there's no details right now i'm not using a small brush at all i'm not worried about making everything smooth and blended instead what i'm trying to do is reduce the whole thing to simpler shapes and put them down and now that i had that tone on the face i'm painting with thicker paint and i'm not really imagining more about color at this stage or at any stage, I'm always thinking whether something's going to be lighter or darker. And see, now we're building up the lights of the face with opaque paint. And it became too similar to the background. So now we light up the background a little bit more. In the beginning, it was a lot of thin, transparent, see-through passes of paint and now it's a bunch of darker and also pay attention how in the shadows it's the paint is always thin the only place you'll find thick paint is in the lights And there's the finished picture.